start off and light some incense from my ancestors on my altar because I didn't do that this morning. Sorry guys. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your weekly forecast for the week of March 11, 2018. 2019. It's 2019. So there's a few major things that it is that I want to touch on before I dive into this week ahead. Number one, we are currently in the midst of Mercury Hardcore Retrograde. That's what it is that I'm going to call it because, I don't know, I just feel like calling it Hardcore Mercury Retrograde even though it's really not that hardcore. But what is hardcore is the fact that Uranus is now moving through the sign of Taurus. Why is this such a big game changer? Well, and why is this hardcore in my opinion? Well, because Uranus is the planet of disruption and it was moving through the sign of Aries, just kind of like throwing grenades left and right in your life, in our world, in our government. And that's what Uranus does. It shakes things up. It's kind of like the tower card within the tarot deck. You just never know what's gonna happen with that planet and you never know what's gonna happen with that card. So now that Uranus is moving to the sign of Taurus, this is when we just start seeing things getting shook up. I really encourage you guys to check to see what uh, Taurus rules within your chart because that's where you're gonna see the most of this erratic speeding of change happening. Mercury is going to be the center of our attention this week for March 11th, 2019. And I think, and from what I can see, I feel like Uranus is also going to take some of the attention in its own little way where it's going to kind of like start tweaking things. So how I kind of visualize it in my head is if you see like, you know, you have this like electrical, electrical wires, which is funny because Uranus rules electricity, but you have these electrical wires that are moving through a house and inevitably that house is destined to burn down. This is the worst metaphor ever, but it's the best way that I can describe it. And you start seeing months ahead these kind of like glitches in the system where the lights might blink out or you plug something in and it like there's this like power fuse. That's ultimately what it is that I feel like we're gonna start seeing. Now granted, I don't want you guys to panic and be like, oh my God, Jess, you know, you're in a, what's gonna happen for me? What's gonna happen in my life, honestly? The only, the best thing that we, that we can do when as astrologers when working with Uranus is to stay open to it because to predict what Uranus will bring it's totally impossible and I don't care what anybody says unless we have a vision of exactly what's going to happen which funny enough I did have a vision this weekend this past weekend so maybe check out those links down below and or my recent video if I don't um, add the links to that video but maybe check out that video and it all of it was good and that's the thing too is that the only time when we feel like something is negative or bad it's when we don't understand why it's happening in our lives you have to remind yourself that all of these things that are happening around you and happening within you they serve a purpose and they're there for a reason and they're there for a reason I'll be right back <laughs> sorry guys I forgot that I had a bag um, that I got from Target and I was just sitting at my office desk and I don't like having that clutter in the background I just happened to move it there. It is what it is So let's go ahead and continue on with this reading as we move forward So again, like I was saying Mercury is going to take center stage and the and the reason why this is is because Mercury is currently retrograde so he's taking steps back and requiring you to slow down, to be more intentional, to pay attention to detail, to check and double check and triple check the things that it is that you are saying yes to, that you're saying no to, what it is that you say, the words that it is that you use, the contracts that it is that you sign, any type of working mechanisms like your phone, your car, uh, wheels and pulleys, all of those things are under the jurisdiction of Mercury. So when Mercury goes retrograde, he is not at his full power potential of moving forward. In fact, he's at his full power potential of moving backward. He's retracing his steps and he is working, that's his job, is to go back and to check and check and check and say, okay, this is weak, this is weak, this is strong, this is good, revisit this, do you miss this, I miss you, let's connect, and all of these things, that's what Mercury does. While he's moving backwards, because he's retracing his steps, he's going to meet with some major planets such as Saturn, he's going to be moving and meeting up with Jupiter, he's going to be meeting up with Pluto. Pluto is the planet of uh, transformation. Pluto is currently moving through the sign of Capricorn and has been for a while. So kind of dismantling, 
you know, your foundation dismantling these um, structures that you've had in place for your for for a, a good chunk of your life and mine because Pluto takes a very long time to move through a house and he's still taking his time moving through Capricorn. Saturn again rules those structures and those limitations. Saturn and Mercury together are asking you to to revisit and to recommit or to break commitments to break certain bonds. You've experienced this when it comes to you know, an aspect of a relationship or a business deal or something that you have connected yourself to. Maybe it's a lifestyle choice. Maybe it's a trip that you thought would be a good idea or you wanted to go and, and to do with some friends. Maybe those friends are flaking and you're just kind of left there sitting in the dirt like, I thought we were all doing this. I thought we were all going. Maybe it's friendships. Maybe you're in a spot right now where you're looking at your friendships and not because you wanted to, because if it was up to you, you would take all of the friends that you've had since childhood and bring them with you into the future. But again, the universe will look at it and say like, look, these people, they don't have your best interests at heart or maybe they're distracted or maybe their lives are pulling them in different directions and you waiting for them is going to be you stunting your own growth so fill in the blank for whatever that is and what that means for you but ultimately mercury is this week is really making you think about okay what is it that's holding me back and it could be a person it could be circumstances it could be an expectation but when mercury takes these steps back and meets with pluto Pluto is a planet of transformation. It says, it says change things up, switch things up. I don't care if you don't like it or not. I just want you to see the bigger picture. That's what it is that I'm bringing to you. And then Saturn, when Mercury meets up with Saturn, it's saying, look, okay, you want to, you know, create these bonds differently. You want to move differently, which Mars, Mars moving to the sign of Taurus is very uh, stubborn. Mars is going to be trying um, Saturn this week on the 14th. And basically, again, this is, helping your action how it is that you move and what it is that your your goals are your intention making sure that it's being supported in the way that is positive and for your highest and greatest good sorry about that guys i had to quickly change my battery but as i was saying mercury is taking center stage this week and i actually think that this is a good thing again because mercury moves so fast and you see a lot of change happening. You see a lot of change happening within yourself. You see a lot of change happening with um, people around you. But again, stay open to this, stay flexible to this. There was a vision that it is that I got and it really fell in alignment with the cards that it is that I pulled. I've been working with the goddess Oracle lately because that's just where I'm at in my life is this you know goddess energy type vibe. But I'm seeing again like this, the ocean waves kind of come in and you know, come in and then move out. And there's two things that come with that. The first is that there is erratic change happening, spontaneous change happening, things kind of flowing in and flowing out. And what comes through, again, is unpredictable. What comes through is a surprise. And again, it could be an awakening within yourself. It could be an idea that you have or a realization of, okay, this is good for me, this is bad, this is what I want, this is what I don't want. I'm going to change how I view things. I'm gonna allow my perspective to be changed so that I can see the world from a, a larger and more clear lens. Sometimes we don't realize that the lens that it is that we're looking at things and how we're perceiving things is outdated and there's something new and better way of examining things. And that's ultimately what it is I'm seeing with Mercury and what Mercury is bringing, especially moving through the sign of Pisces because Pisces has a way of painting the world in a way that is beautiful or a way that is incredibly ugly, depending on what lens you're looking, lo looking through. So that's ultimately what Mercury is bringing to us this week. But as this is happening, I'm seeing again Uranus and this energy around us, this vibration around us, this vibe around us that is like the ocean. It's going to bring in some pieces of treasure and then pull some things out of your life. And you want to stay very open to this. Now, again, this could be ideas and bits of creativity and conversations and relationships. Whatever this is, it's ebbing and it's flowing. It could be your energy level. 
levels. One minute your energy is high, the next minute your energy is low. One minute your confidence is high, the next minute your confidence is, is, is low. This is another thing too that you probably will see on the 14th. Sun squares Jupiter. One minute your ego is completely inflated and the next minute it's like it just kind of dips and dies down. I'm not a person that would ever drink energy drinks, especially not Red Bull or Mountain Dew or anything like that, but it, the energy of the chart kind of represents what I've heard that to be like. I've never even tried that because to me that's so toxic, but it's that surge of taking a shot of a Red Bull or drinking a Red Bull and it's so artificial almost. It's so unnatural that it just kind of shoots you up and then after that you kind of crash. So follow the cycle of your mood, follow how you are feeling in order to work with this energy this week because there's so much that is changing and again it comes from your perspective, it comes from your conversations, your friends, what is important to you, what isn't important to you, what you need to take with you, what is going to be taken from you, what you need to be open to, um, to, to receiving. That's another card that it is I pulled as a card of receptive. Uh, receptivity. I can never say that word probably because I struggle with this, but it's allowing yourself to receive and allowing the universe, allowing this ocean wave, allowing this vibration to come in and bring into your life and then as it brings in, allow some things to be taken away. Follow your energy cycles. That's one thing that I said I think in my top five mistake that witches make, I think, video. I think that's the video that I made, but it's ultimately respecting your energy flow and what you know when your energy is high what your magic looks like then and when your energy is low what your magic should look like then but again following these ebbs and this flow is what's going to help to connect you to these opportunities to good things that are coming in the one thing too that i want to warn you about and i don't know why i'm saying this because as i'm pulling the chart now the moon is sitting conjunct mars in the sign of taurus which is a little reactive but more than anything it's kind of like stubborn and just set in its ways and but I just want to warn you guys about if there this vibe is coming in and pulling out and coming in and pulling out, to me it also shows that there's a little bit of a tendency for like mood swings, not to say that you're off balance or anything like that. Maybe you are. Maybe there's, you know, you need to ground yourself and check yourself or maybe lift your feet up and float on this journal. Do activities that make you feel good. Focus on you, focusing that energy on what is going to help you to feel good, especially self-care and working with goddess energy. But whatever it is, I'm seeing that by allowing yourself to honor these ebbs and these flows, you're actually allowing your, your emotions to kind of balance out. If there are things that are revealing themselves to you when it comes to your mind and your emotions, or let's say your perspective is changing, or your energy level is changing, also realize that what's going on in the spiritual world, what's going on in the physical world, can directly impact your emotional world. And you could be good, you can have high hopes again, and then one minute it comes crashing down, and I just wanna warn you guys about that. But ultimately, I see this all for your highest and greatest good, and I see it bringing you ultimate joy and happiness in a way that, I don't wanna say that I, you know, we'll see like these dreams come to fruition, this week, maybe some people will, maybe that's a part of this blessing that's coming in, but at the end of the day, I do see us kind of taking it one day at a time, not really giving up, but at the same time, allowing yourself to be in a space <clears throat> where you are receiving and you're following this ebb and this flow of this energy that's coming in and coming out. Okay, so I hope that that makes sense. I'm gonna put down in the comments in the description box some days that you can expect to see, some days where the planets make aspects, like exact aspects so and then also i want to invite you guys to follow me on twitter because i've been i've decided that i'm going to tweet out specific days on the day of so that you guys are fully aware and that's going to be free information if you turn on your notifications you'll see it immediately pop up on your phone and say okay moon is moving into the sign of gemini this is what i can expect for myself so that's something that else that i'll be working on because i'm taking more time for myself for that in my work right now. I've been doing a lot of writing and that's what's bringing me happiness. And one minute I have all the words and the next minute it's like a drought. It's like cricket, it's quiet, there's nothing going on. <laughs> So that's what it is I'm experiencing in my life personally that's how it's been manifesting so far but ultimately I really feel like that's gonna be kind of cranked up this week so I'm interested in hearing how this is influencing you guys if you're feeling this already and as the week goes along feel free to leave it down in the comments make sure that you leave your Sun sign and your rising sign down there too so I can continue to do my own research because of course I'm forever growing I'm always studying astrology it doesn't matter how many years I've put in 
I'm going to keep on studying because that's what it is that I do. And that's what it is that I'm passionate about. And I would never stop doing that even if I...